Hi guys, excuse me, I thought I'd do a quick little vlog. I've just done a video of me uh, assembling the, um, or transferring um, parts from one case to another. I know it was an older computer case, but I actually preferred it to the new one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one on the floor yet, if I can actually see it on the camera. Yeah, not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I may just end up going in the trash because it's cheap enough to buy a brand new one if you really want one. And I just don't like that design, if I'm honest. So, uh, yeah. Kind of obvious as the one down on the floor behind me is still powered up that um, I'm doing this vlog straight after doing that video. Oh, yeah, had a bit of a, uh, a rough day yesterday, that's why there wasn't a video up. Um, basically, I had one of my uh, spells at around 6.30, 7 o'clock last night. Um, but it was one of my spells with a difference. I actually threw up. First time I've done that since I was... Actually, the last time I remember throwing up was when I had whooping cough back in 19... Must have been around about 1996. Don't recall ever throwing up since that time. Felt nauseous, you know. Everyone feels a bit nauseous, a bit sick every now and again, but... Yeah, last night was the first time in a very long time that I'd actually thrown up. Because I'm usually quite fit. I'm usually quite healthy. Um, so, after I phoned Mum and let her know, and she said, get yourself a doctor's appointment. So, I did that today. I had to go down to the doctor's surgery anyway. In fact, she was going to ring me later. I don't know if she's forgotten or... No, I don't really want to ring there because I know stepdad will be up in bed and so will my little brother and I don't really want to, you know, disturb him at this time of night as it's 10.30. Um, but anyway, I got curious and decided to do something that they recommend you don't do and that's uh, Google your own symptoms. So, I did. No, I googled nausea, oh, abdominal pain, can't remember what I put up in the um, search, Google search now. And obviously it came back with more than one thing it could be, naturally, that's why they say don't Google. Well, well that's why I presume they say don't Google your own symptoms, because uh, some conditions can mimic others. So, um, I suppose a doctor would know exactly what they're looking for. Um, but, I did dig around and match up all of my symptoms to one, which is lactose intolerance. Because yesterday for, well I was going to say for breakfast, but it would have been probably lunch, as I didn't get up till late again. <laughs> Um, I did scoff down two bowls of cereal. I do have a lot of milk, so that's probably about two pints of milk out of a four pint bowl. So I've still got two pints in that bowl, roughly, give or take. Which uh, I think I'll give to Mum because I'm not touching it. Because uh, on the count of I'm fairly certain, Mum did the same thing, she Googled it and. Uh, come to the same conclusion, but uh, I've got an appointment Monday uh, to see the doctor, so hopefully he can um, confirm or at least give me some advice uh, yeah hmm so yeah, 
Um, but apparently, lactose intolerance can make you um, quite flatulent, which should explain why I'm farting a lot. <laughs> And burping a lot. Actually, ever since that episode or that spell yesterday, I have barely farted, to be honest. Burped, but I drink a lot of fizzy drinks anyway, so. But yeah, it can make you um, quite windy, apparently. So, that would explain why I'm uh, quite flatulent. And I um, was watching a vlog and life video today and. He's lactose intolerant, and he actually said if he eats something like a yogurt, for example, he can um, be popping off for the Olympics. Because uh, on some videos, he does. He's like me. So, yeah, I'm about 95% convinced it's lactose intolerance. Now, I find I can handle... I don't think I'm going to have to cut lactose out completely but I think I'm going to have to cut back considerably um, for example margarine or butter I've got this real bad habit of um, you know spreading it on thick <laughs> mum used to hate me for doing that because we'd uh, get through butter like it was going out of fashion uh, but I had sandwiches this morning and I spread it on a lot thinner and uh, I still haven't had to go to the loop but diarrhea is one of them and stomach pains and cramps is another one um, which I get I pretty much get all the symptoms that's why every last symptom I could think of was matching what I was reading on, I think it was an NHS website actually, it was matching what I was reading on there, so. But, uh, not being a doctor, I can't actually give myself an official diagnosis, so. Uh, I've still got some discomfort down in this region, but I do get like a cramping pain when I burp, sometimes. Um... But I think when I reached to throw up yesterday, I've pulled something across the top here because that does hurt when I laugh. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I had a bit of a tender testicle for some reason, so that could be adding to it all down there as well as to, I don't know, my right one, it gets like that every now and again. It's like someone comes along at, when I'm asleep and cracks me in the bollocks or something. I'll blame Nemo. <laughs> He's got his back to me at the minute. Boy, shithead. That got your attention, didn't it? No. He's not interested. To take some paracetamol earlier because I had a skull ache. Uh, but it has eased off, so I assume they've kicked in, but it could be a dehydration headache because it was right across the middle and if I remember rightly that's a good sign of a dehydration headache and considering I probably didn't replenish all my fluids that were lost yesterday yeah I'd say I'm probably a little bit dehydrated easy way to find out I should have done a um, finger prick blood test for diabetes because uh, if I bled fine then I wasn't dehydrated but if I couldn't get blood out of my finger then I know I was dehydrated. Because I've had that problem when the nurses have tried to take blood for blood tests. And I remember, actually I remember when I first went for the initial diagnosis, I'm going to take the bloods for um, diagnosis. Four, t four or five times they tried to get blood out of my arm and I just would not bleed. Because I don't drink enough. Well, actually, I'll probably do with the wrong stuff. Oh. Yay. Perhaps my body is just telling me, fuck you, stop abusing me. But apparently lactose tolerance is caused by the body either not producing any 
or not enough lactase, which uh, helps, the, um, it breaks lactose down into two other sugars, glucose and something else, so the digestive system can um, digest it. And if you're lactose intolerant, either your body's not producing it at all, or it's producing very little, which is why some people um, can have a little bit of lactose with little to no effect. Um, or some people just outright can't touch it. That was a quiet one. Uh. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh. On the plus side, I sold the racing bike this morning. This afternoon, rather. I had a feeling it would sell quick. They can always sell quick, which is why I... Um, like to repair those ones. Even if they're not a hundred percent, I still... People, like I said, people still want them. <laughs> they are good bikes to ride though. Especially if you're on the road. That, to me, riding a road bike or a hybrid bike, bike, not a brake, <laughs> on the road is better than a mountain bike unless you want to put more road-like tires on a mountain bike for road use. Um, which is basically what I'm doing with Claude number two in the bedroom. It's a mountain bike, but with road going tires on it, which means it'll be a lot better to ride on the road. Because with knobbly tires for mountain bikes, I actually find, you know, it's a bit more work to me to, to um, ride it. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. Yep, that's fine if you can let me know a time. Someone else um, who first messaged me about that blue mountain bike I got out back. Um, I might actually pull the other one out so you can have a look at that one as well if you want. Um, was interested in the racer as well, but it already sold. <laughs> it sold pretty quick. Um, I'm just going to reply to him. Um, two seconds. Tomorrow is okay. Afternoon is best. Uh, on the count of due to my sleeping pattern at the minute, I'm not getting up till like eleven o'clock at the earliest. I'm not looking forward to Monday. Um, Crap. That's typical. See, I sold the bike, that racing bike, and I've already got two more um, enquiries about it. So I'm going to delete those, and I'm going to go on a gum tree and get that deleted before I get any more. I should have done it earlier and I completely forgot. Come on, Gumtree, load up. Uh, no, I'm not posting an ad. Manage my ads. See if my other ones had any views. 25 views. My racing bikes had 60 views. And the mountain bike has had 90 views. So why the hell isn't anyone... Why is it about that bike no one wants? Maybe it's its age. Because that's not a modern mountain bike. It is an old one. So I've got a feeling... Uh, well, I got offered a tenner for it, so... Uh, delete that one. Yes, it was successful. There we go. I won't get no more messages with that one now. 
that one is sold. Nothing going on on Facebook to talk about. where I think it is. No. I don't think. No. <laughs> I'm just watching a video someone put up on Facebook. He's a urban explorer. I thought he was in a house um, that I've explored, but no, that's, that's totally different. And just about as rough state, but totally different. But yeah, that's... Um, Rather him going there than me, Jesus, no chance. I've been in a couple of dodgy ones that have fallen down, but that's taking the biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> this house looks so old, I don't even think it's got any electrics in it. Shame to see houses get like that. So a lot of them that have been left to get into such a state are beautiful houses. But they get... I don't even think this one's actually um, fixable. I think that's actually completely past it, to be honest. That's upstairs, and there's plants growing through it. Yeah. <sighs> Squirrel. An albino squirrel. He's got the pink eyes. Classic giveaway that they're an albino. It be doo I've just realised it's Friday. My brother won't be at home, will he? He's working. No nuts. completely forgot <laughs> and if he's not working he'll be spending the weekend at dad's as he always does how much fucking bastards 21,000 pounds of life-saving equipment stolen from West Yorkshire Fire Station. What wankers. It's a movie I want to watch. I like my animation, so I want to watch that one. I'm voting out. Good for you. It's entirely up to you. I'm not fussed either way, to be honest. <laughs> If people want to vote out of the EU, let them. You know, it's their choice. I'm not holding it against them. I'm... Part of me wants to vote out, but part of me wants to vote in as well. I'm still undecided, to be honest. If I even bother going to vote. <laughs> I may not bother. <laughs> Oh yes, and it was the Queen's 90th birthday yesterday. Ooh, twin turbo. No, I swear I see three turbos. I do, I see, there's three bleep, there is three. One, two, three, Holy shit! <laughs> Triple turbo! 
can't see a name on them though. Berg, Bergvorna, Bergvorma, something like that. They're German, so they're probably not crap turbos. Well, with a name like that, I'd have presumed they were German. Ooh, pardon me. Alrighty then, I'm going to shut the camera down and get these uh, videos to the PC. Now you're in, now I'm about to turn the video off, now you're interested. You sat there all that time on that other chair with your back to me, you miserable git. You're sitting on my pills. You don't care though, do you? Alrighty then. Disappear. May actually retreat to the bedroom in a little while. About another half an hour or so, actually. I've got the laptop working. Uh, we had ransom updates on that earlier. It's actually running pretty well, that little old laptop. For an old advent. I have to say, it's not a bad laptop. But speaking of, uh, Biggles has got me three more. I think that was a bicycle I heard out on the car park. I heard something on the gravel. Couldn't hear an engine though, that's why I presumed bicycle, but... Could have been a quiet car, anyway. Da, 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 da. Haven't got no Lego videos to load today. No, it's just these two. Or I might do this one tomorrow, I don't know yet. Now nah, I'll put them both up tonight. Anyway. So you'll see the uh, computer vid before this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like if you like the video. Any comments, you know where to leave them by now. And uh, we'll talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.